918. 918 tiles on one side of the roof. Nine hundred and nineteen grams. Eight hundred forty three kilograms on one side of the roof. That should hold my weight. I'm a hundred thirty kilos. So basically you could say once I've removed 150 tiles or so then my weight should be supported by the roof. We are going to have to do an intervention here. When I did the roof last year I was in a rush because I had to move off the camping, I had to move into the little house and the little house needed to be ready before the 1st of October. What I've done is I've reinforced the roof, I have insulated the roof with styrofoam underneath, I have installed slats on the inside, painted the slats and all. But what I still need to do basically is remove all the tiles, remove all these slats the tiles sit on, install a plastic rain barrier, install new slats for the tiles and reposition the tiles. The interesting thing about these tiles is that, I don't know that it's 100% true, but they form they shape themselves after you've put them on. Do you see the difference between these two? That's sort of when they warm up, they shape themselves in the position they need to be. I don't know whether that's true, but it could be true. I uh, do notice that all these tiles have a different shape. So once I take them off, I put them back on, it's gonna look a little bit wonky. Yeah but I don't have any other solution to it other than buying all new tiles that are straight. But I don't want new tiles, I want the old tiles. So we just make sure that that plastic sheet that we're gonna install underneath is really waterproofing the roof for the time being that these tiles have shaped themselves again. It's just waiting for a weather window. See anything you like? The things, but I also feel like these are quite expensive, these hanging plants. They took 20 euros a piece. Yeah, I feel like 20 euros is a bit steep. I swear Ma and I used to buy these every spring and summer and they were not that expensive. The marigolds are saying I can plant them up back. Looking pretty. They're also edible. Okay, well that's that's a bonus. So out of my element here. Plenty of work for you at home. Yeah, if you let me get on and do my job without interrupting me. Coriander's. I just have thought. Mm -hmm. What about if we really want to do that trellis um, with like the vines on it and stuff? We don't have to do wisteria. Wisteria takes a long time to grow properly, you know, like to establish itself. What if we got another vine growing plant? Yeah. That's kind of like all year round. Yeah, definitely. Remember we went to Natalie's house, our neighbor? Yeah. She has a kiwi vine. Yeah. And we were there in the middle of winter and it was all green. Yeah. 
I mean, that yeah, could be sure. interesting. Yeah, yeah. Maybe if we'll discuss it with someone. Grows a little quicker than the hysteria. Hysteria. The hysteria. Yeah. yeah. Um, and also maybe we can purchase one that's already sort of established. Okay. Um, let me talk, I'll talk with someone about it. Yeah. But right now I'm just looking, I was checking out these plants and they seem to be like little trees. Okay. I don't know. I'll go talk with someone. Yeah. Okay, come on. Sorry? This is beautiful. What is it? Uh, Robinia fo acacia. Have a look at the flowers. Okay. That's a beauty. I like these leaves too. Well, where would you plant it? I'm thinking for the... Ah, for the, the trellis. trellis. bought myself a little scaffold. I uh, really need a scaffold. I need a scaffold to start working on the roof here. I will need a scaffold later for the big house rendering etc etc. I've been looking everywhere for second-hand scaffolds. I don't know anything about scaffolds. Didn't really know what to look for. Didn't have an awful lot of time to research and I want something cheap because it's something you only use a few times and for the rest of the year it's just sitting in the way. I bought this one, it promised me to uh, be able to work at a height of 4 meter or 12 feet, uh, 200 euros, packs up small, it's light, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it will be useful. So what's the plan for today? Well I'm going to, I've just done, I was wanting to start in the garden a bit earlier but there's just too much house stuff to do so. I spent most of the morning doing that, laundry and cleaning. Now, um, oh look a worm! That's good, good sign. Now I'm going to get these plants, <clears throat> new plants that we bought on the weekend, get them in the ground, okay. just you kind can, of like arrange the... If you want, you can put that soil in a bucket oh. that you're scooping out. Okay. And then I can use it for in the planter. No, oh, I'm going to use it. Uh, yeah, but I'm using it. I think, personally, I think it's better to put the plants in and then fill the void with the soil, soil that we bought. Okay. Do you want to bring a bag around for me? Yeah. I and then put it. this one in a in a bucket. Then we can fill the lower part of the plant with it. Okay. I'm taking uh, taking that vine from removing the vine from the tree. You are. Yeah. Oh, you know what this is? Lemongrass. Oh, lemongrass. I was wondering that, and then I thought, well, what? How did he get that? Lemongrass is good for me cooking Thai. Yeah. Or oh, Vietnamese. Coriander, lime grass. Um, uh, lime grass. Coriander, lemongrass, some marigolds. Some mint, I've replanted the oregano, and then soon um, this climbing, or I think it's called creeping jenny. Creeping jenny? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like vine. We're going to have that kind of climbing over the wood to break it up a little bit. And then I'll put in the raspberries and maybe one more marigold in the corner. Not sure, but now it's time for lunch, so I'm just going to cool. get this in the ground and then we'll have a little break. Oh, I don't know whether you can see it, but there's a lot of ants crawling in here. There was an ant's nest under there, or there still is. 
but we will get rid of them. It's uh, blind panic in ant country at the moment. How's it? Ah, uh, it's not my favorite kind of work. First of all, it's just dangerous. And it just makes a slow progress because it's just so hard working on the slope. I mean, if it's a bigger house, you know, you have access with a cherry picker, and it's a lot easier, huh? But if I had to do this on the big house, I would call a company. Because, uh, yeah, it's not smart. Doing it like this myself. On the big house. 